Good morning, everybody. We are starting our Grosvenor Barnes Pool service in a different way because, as you know, by the government recommendation, we are not allowed to have any public meeting. But we are here to share this service with you. We want you to be blessed. I want you to share the word with you, which you can find in your Bible in Psalms. 119 verse 114 it says you are my refuge and my shield i have put my hope in your word god's word has lots of promises for us jesus said i will be always with you i think god has been allowing us to spend this time in a different way we need to pray and seek him to find out what he wants to uh, uh, share with us in this time. Maybe it's a time for us to remind that everything is under God's control and he has been allowing us to live this time in this way. The church is not the building. We are the church. Also, this time it can be a creative time and how we should be spending this time. Many people say, I'm busy, I have no time. Maybe God is giving this time for a purpose. Quality time in family, having meals, fun, games, good readings, watching good films. But the most important thing for this time as a Christians is praying and reading the Bible together as a family. It's also a time to enjoy ourselves. Let's try to see it in a very positive side. The Lord is our refuge. Our hope is in Him. I would encourage you to pray and ask God for wisdom how you should be spending this time. Let's pray now for the world situation, vulnerable people, opportunities also to share the gospel, bring hope to the people. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we pray, asking for your mercy, asking for your grace, asking for the manifestation of your presence around the world. Lord, we pray for all nations who have been suffering 
the situation. We pray for our country. We pray for UK. Lord, we pray for vulnerable people who are suffering uh, because of the coronavirus, Lord. We pray for you send your Holy Spirit to speak to people's hearts and bring a real repentance from the nations. And also, Lord, we pray for healing. You believe you can heal people who are in very difficult time, Lord. We pray for the manifestation of your presence, the manifestation of your grace. This is our prayer as church in Jesus' name. Amen. church uh, it's really good to be here with you in your homes on your laptops and your iPads um, doing church a bit different today um, but we're still going to worship him um, and I just want to encourage you as we worship this morning let's just be free let's just be aware of his presence you know he's still with us even though we're in our homes and not in our church building he's still very much the same God he never changes so um, yeah let's just worship him and God, we just thank you for your presence. God, we just welcome you, God, into our homes, God, into our hearts, Lord, and pray this morning, Father, would you be glorified. God, and we pray that you would meet with us, Father. Thank you, Jesus.
why don't we just take a moment to thank him. To thank him for the cross. To thank him for replacing our, our fear with perfect love. Thank him for replacing our darkness with light and with truth. wherever you are in your house, why don't you just thank him as a family, why don't you thank him as an individual, thank him. everyone happy mother's day it seems so odd we're actually recording this and yet you are here watching us and i hope you've had a lie in actually some of you might still be in bed i think if you were if it was me i would be enjoying mother's day in bed but we've got a few things for you to do haven't we yes so hopefully you've already printed this out if not go and print it out now pause this print it out then come back and so this list here is the thing that you want to be looking at first of all and we want you children and you know adults if you want to take part as well to go and find all of these things around your house and time yourselves how fast you can do it you can always uh, comment on the uh, section below just to say how fast you've done it for um, but we wanted to cab all of these as fast as you can okay so you're gonna pause the video in a moment then we're gonna tell you why you've got them ready pause we didn't need to pause, do we? No, no, that's pausing. right. No, we're, okay. we're yes. back now. Yes. Have you got them all? That's fantastic. Because we've actually got them together as well. Because you know, if any of you know me, you know I am a Blue Peter presenter. I've just a failed one because I'm too old. But here we go. Here are some we've prepared earlier. Right. So we well, have we got them. Let's have... Did you, did you all find the washing up liquid? Yes. Now, we realise that dads do washing up as well. No, but absolutely. next time you have a meal, just thank mum. For the cooking thank mum for the washing up and for doing it as well um what about a wooden spoon yes we found a wooden spoon fantastic did you find one too great because actually mums and dads do the cooking but today is mother's day so these are thank yous for mum box of plasters did you find one of them uh, children's ones even yes oh, we've got fantastic. a lot of mermaids on them things well i hope Disney's none of you need them today but if you do mum is always the one that's got them to hand and she's probably the one who knows where they are in the cupboard as well isn't yes. she car keys yes yeah, you've hang got on car keys hang you've on got car keys i hope so so it's a bit like that yes yay yeah Next time mum takes you for a lift somewhere, takes you to something, I know this is a bit difficult, but you will still be able to go out in the car, I promise you will be able to in this difficult time. Thank mum for taking you and driving you. Oh, screwdriver. This was hard to find, but I got one. Ah, oh, yeah, well done. Yeah, I don't know about you, but mums are really good at fixing things too. Storybook. Storybook, story yes. Ah, oh, yes. Make the most of these next few weeks. Read Just lots of stories. Oh, look at that. This is, this is one of my favourite stories. Can you hear me, children? It's, yeah, it's Jesus talking to us. Make sure you are reading lots and lots. Read with mum. Thank mum for reading to you. Snuggle up. Read lots and lots. And, of course, the next one, the Bible. I've jumped yes. one, but that's the... Do this even more. Look, just enjoy this time with mums and dads and grandmas and just read your Bibles and do all sorts of things. Um, oh, I've got a ruler there ruler, as well, haven't I? Ruler, yeah. shatterproof. Yeah, that's good. Because you will have some schoolwork to do when, you, when you're off school. So thank mum ever so much for doing and helping you with all your schoolwork and things. You've got a bin bag there as bin well. Bin bag, yes. Found a big yeah. massive one. Oh, yeah. Because actually, you know, mums do find and pick up a lot of your rubbish and stuff don't they so Certainly thank do. them for that as well just thank them and i've got here a photo of your mum or something that reminds you of your mum now we're actually in church here didn't aren't we didn't have we, that, we didn't have that. But we have a mum here don't we, oh, we do. so yes, here we I go am. lovely oh, there, there we you go. are 
I am Lovely. Lovely. Lovely, thank you. And the reason for doing this is to make you aware, do you know, just thank mum for everything. You know, if, you, if you're an adult watching this as well, because you will be, I don't suppose you fast forwarded this, but give your mum a ring because you can't go and see her today. And let's just pray for our mums now and thank them for them. Paul. Okay, let's pray. Yeah, God, we want to thank you for our mothers. God, I thank you that they care for us, that they love us, that they look after us. God, I thank you for the sacrifices that they make for us. And God, I just pray that you would bless them today. God, that you would give them a good day. That, Father, um, we would be really thankful. Or give us thankful hearts towards our mothers. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our preacher this morning is a Pastor Kenny. He will be sharing an encouraging message with you. I'm sure you'll be blessed. He's been serving as a missionary for many years in different countries. He has ministry helping the persecuted church and he's serving in UK at the moment. God bless you with his message. Good morning, church. My name is Pastor Zahid Kenny, and I'm here at a very, very important time this morning. These are difficult and trying times. There are a lot of questions regarding uh, what will happen next. And uh, we have questions in our hearts and in our minds, which I think nobody have answers. Then there are no, no answers which can satisfy us at this point of time. Fear and panic is seen all across the world. This morning, I want to take this amazing opportunity to encourage you by two passages from the Bible. One from Old Testament and the other from the New Testament. I will be sharing from Genesis 16 and then Acts 16. Let me give you a little bit of background of uh, Genesis 16, what's happening in here. When Sarah gave Hagar to Abraham, she conceived. But when Hagar uh, realized that she has conceived Abraham's child, she started despising Sarah, which gave a lot of hurt to Sarah. And then Sarah, in Genesis 16, verse 6, treated harshly with Hagar. So harshly that Hagar fled. In Genesis 16, verse 7, it is written, now the angel of the Lord found her by a spring of water in the wilderness, by the spring on the way to Shur. This pregnant woman was found in the middle of the wilderness, no place for a pregnant woman to be. The treatment of Sarah was so harsh that Hagar had to flee. But, but the angel of the Lord found her near a spring. In verse 8 of Genesis 16, the angel of the Lord asked two very important questions from Hagar. Where are you coming from, Hagar? And where are you going? And she replied, I am fleeing the harshness and the persecution of Sarah. At this point, the angel commanded her to go back and submit herself to Sarah and also blessed her. And promised her a son, which he said, named him Ishmael. And this is what I want to share with you, my brothers and sisters, this morning. In verse 13, let's read it together. In Genesis 16, verse 13, this is what it's written. Then she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her, You are the God who sees. She said, I have also here... I have also here seen him who sees me. This Egyptian girl, this girl who had no uh, knowledge of God, called this father, this God of heaven and earth, the God who sees. The Hebrew word for this is El Roy. El Roy, God who sees. And this word, 
And this name was given to God by an Egyptian girl. This is the only time this name is used in the entire Bible. I want to encourage you this morning, my brothers and sisters. God sees you. God is watching over you. Hagar had this amazing realization that she could see the God of heaven and earth through her spiritual eyes. And she knew that God is watching over her in her despair, in the middle of the wilderness, where she had nothing, she had no idea what she's going to do, where she is heading, what is the future, what is the future of her baby. We, at the moment, are in a similar situation. In the midst of this pandemic of COVID-19, I want to assure you, brothers and sisters, God is watching over us. God is watching over you. God is watching over me. El Roy is watching over us. Amen. It says in the Bible in Isaiah 43 verse 1. Let me read it to you. But now thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not. For I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Rest assured that we are redeemed by the precious blood of the Lamb. And our God is watching over us. Amen. I want to share uh, now from the New Testament another instant. A couple of years ago, I had an, a great opportunity to visit Greece and I went to Philippi where Paul was imprisoned. This is the place where uh, Paul and Silas received a call uh, for Macedonia, uh, where Paul saw a vision that a man from Macedonia is calling them. So Paul and Silas went there and spent a few days uh, in Philippi. There, they shared the gospel and Lydia and her household got saved. Now, uh, when they got saved, uh, Paul and Silas, they were visiting uh, the, the city of Philippi and they were sharing the gospel. And there was this slave girl who started following them. This girl was possessed by demons and she kept uh, yelling at the top of her voice, these are men of God, listen to them. And Paul got so annoyed with this girl that she, he casted all the demons out of that girl. Realizing that the master of the slave girl has lost their uh, income uh, because this uh, girl who was possessed by the demons were bringing a lot of income to the master, they captured Paul and Silas and they took them to the magistrate. First, first they were beaten with rods. Then they were given many stripes. Um, a number is not mentioned. That means there was no count. It was many. A rod would have been a long stick. And a professional Roman soldier who strained to inflict uh, maximum pain would have beaten them hard. After this, Paul and Silas are thrown into uh, the jail and they are bound in stocks, their legs and their hands are bound in stocks. Let's read from Acts chapter 16. But at the midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the prisoners were listening to them. Amen. Paul and Silas are singing. They are in the prison. They have just been beaten severely. They have received stripes on their back. They are bound in the most uncomfortable positions. When I visited Philippi and I saw that prison and I saw that stones where, the, the, where Paul and Silas would have been bound, I broke down. Because as human, I cannot even imagine what they were experiencing. But one thing is very significant and I want to encourage you this morning, church. 
that they were not complaining. They were not in fear. They were not turning away from God. Let's see verse 26 what it says. While Paul and Silas were worshipping and praying, in verse 26, suddenly there was a great earthquake. So the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chain, chains were loosed. My brothers and sisters, we are much better than Hagar, the slave girl. We have been redeemed and bought by the blood of the Lamb. We are brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ. God our Father is watching over us. El Roy is watching over us. In this difficult time, spend time in worshipping him day and night. Lift him up. Spend time with him in prayers like Paul and Silas were doing in their difficulty. And I promise you, he will come through. His God who covers his loved ones as a cloud in the daytime and a pillar of fire at night time. He's a God who slay a giant through a young lad. I'm referring to David. A young lad, a slingshot and a pebble. A combination a rational and logical minds cannot get a grip of. I want to assure you, God has not changed. God has not retired. He is still in control. He is still sitting on his throne. And at his, at his right hand, Jesus Christ is pleading our case right now. He is still the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. I also want to take an opportunity to challenge all of us, including me this morning. We cannot pray a perfect prayer and then our whole body, mind and soul and our intellect do the contrary. Let me say it again. We cannot pray a perfect prayer and then go and do totally opposite. I want to read you a passage from Exodus 14, verse 14. Exodus 14, verse 14. The background of this verse is, Israelites have just come out of Egypt. Egyptian army is chasing them. The sea is at front and the army is coming from behind. And this is what the Bible says. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. This morning, this is a promise for me and this is a promise for you and this is the promise for entire world. God will fight for us. Let's rest assured that God is watching over us. Let's rest assured that the God we worship, the God of heaven and earth, has the ability to shake the foundations of any prison, of any pandemic, of any disease, of any panic, and set everything loose and free us and, and release us and rescue us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you are God of heaven and earth. Father, I thank you that through your word, we are encouraged. Father, I thank you that you are watching over us. Father, I thank you that through the blood of your son, you have redeemed us. Father, I thank you that you have the power to redeem us, to rescue us and to free us. Lord, I bless my brothers and sisters this morning to give them peace, to give them courage and fill their hearts, their minds and their soul with your Holy Spirit. That we will burst into prayers 
and worshipping you day and night. Father, I pray that you protect us through the blood of the Lamb and bless them all. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you all.